I'm standing in front of Earthview, which is a 20-foot inflatable globe that we use to promote geographic education and to reach out to students all over eastern and central Massachusetts. Ready to follow the globe lady up? All right. There we go. To the right, right behind me, to the right. The earth view is inflated properly. So now we can walk down. We're stepping on a continent. Ooh, it's Antarctica. Now, let's go to the top. This ocean is right where the North Pole is. Arctic Ocean. Now, let's go to where we are. Here we are. Wow. Where's the hook yes. the Massachusetts? Now remember, we should be over here. But we're inside out. So here we are. Now, let's cross the country. The Pacific Ocean is a big ocean. If you look at a globe in your classroom, you'll see that, but that's pretty small. You'll never see it all together in one piece like you're gonna see it in Earthy. Okay, guys, sorry, I'm getting unzipped. There's a lot to tell you, but at least I think we had a good little time visiting some of the parts of Earthy, and I hope we get to come again. Tell me about the going inside the Earth. Like, it was so huge. It was gigantic. I was so amazed. I basically decided when I was fifth, in the fifth grade to become a geographer because it allows you to travel to places in your mind that you could normally go to. With any kind of flat map, there's necessarily distortion. Yeah. And with a globe, you can only see half of it at a time. But with this, you have a perspective over on one side of it. You're really seeing most of the Earth at any one time. I learned that the Pacific Ocean was the biggest ocean in the world. Right now there's very little geography taught in American schools beyond the seventh grade. We think that's wrong. It's the only industrialized country that doesn't do geography beyond the seventh grade. There should be more. It's a globalized world. People need to know about the world. Have you ever traveled anywhere? Well, I traveled to Portugal because I have people in my family that live there. Did you find it on the globe? No. Do you want to go find it? We bet we could. I want you to point this okay. Push that um, and now point to this point. Oh, you made a map on my arm? Right. Uh, so, yeah, so Madagascar is over there, and then the other island country is that me? Oh. Does anything surprise you about where it is? That it's so high up. You're right at the core of the Earth, and, and, and students love that, the idea that they actually travel to the center of the Earth.